Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you guys remember in the parabola section, uh, what we were trying to do is when we were trying to write an equation of a parabola, the main important thing I said was, hey, graph the points that you know to kind of get an idea of what equation you're going to use, right? Because parabolas, we have parabolas that open left or right, and we have parabolas that open up or down. So it was important for you to choose which equation you're going to write it on. The same thing with this. We have ellipses that have a major axis of symmetry horizontally, and we have a major axis that's going to be vertical as well. So we need to make sure we're picking the right equation. So what I'm going to first do here is let's graph what we know. So in this equation, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are my two vertices. I don't know what the center is. I just have those as my two vertices. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's two types of graphs we have. We have ones that look vertical. And we have ellipses that were horizontal. For the ones that are horizontal, we said here's your two vertices. Here is your center and here are your foci. They are all on the major axis, right? Here, when we had a vertical major axis, again, the vertices, the foci, and the center were all on the major axis, correct? Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, if I just plot what I know, right? This isn't takes too hard. You're just plotting your two vertices. If I plot these two vertices, which type of ellipse am I going to have? A vertical or a horizontal? Or is horizontal, right? So therefore, I don't need to worry about this drawing that I just did, right? That's old news. Okay. So we have our we have our vertices. Now remember, on our vertices, the center is exactly in between them, right? Because the distance from here to here is A. So the distance from here to here is A. So this whole distance is what we call 2A. So what does 2a equal? Well, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can say 2a equals 10. a equals 5. You guys agree with that? Yes. Yes. And does that make sense? Is that correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, yeah. And it's also true right there, right? If you're going left 5 and right 5, you know a is equal to 5. So we know a equals 5. Cool. But we don't need, we just need a we already know A is 5, 2, because what's your eccentricity? Remember, eccentricity is C over A, right? So we also just got to look at the equation and say, hey, A is 5 right here. We already know that. And do we know what C is now? Three. Right? But, ladies and gentlemen, for our equation, oh, I'm sorry, let's go through this. We're trying to write the equation, right? So for our equation, um, we know this is horizontal, so the equation is going to look like this. X minus H squared plus y minus k squared. Since it's horizontal, a squared is going to be below here. b squared equals 1. Okay, now, we know what a is, right? So therefore, a squared equals 25, right? Good. We know what c is, right? c is up here in eccentricity because that's what they gave us. Do we care what c is do? Do we need to know what c is for the formula? No. But why do we need to know C? Does anybody have the answer to that one? Ooh, 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 yes. So we can find B? Exactly. How are A, B, and C related to each other? In that little equation. Which is A squared equals B squared plus C squared. C squared. Right? I'm a genius. So therefore, we know A is 25. Now, we don't know what B is, though. But we know C is going to be 3 squared, which is 9, right? Now we subtract 9, 16 equals b squared. Now you can figure out what b is, but you don't have to. We just need to, we really just care about what b is, or what a squared and what b squared are. Now the last thing is we need to find the vertex. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know that the vertex, we found out that the middle point was at zero. And remember, they have to lie on the same um, axis as your vertices. So that means they have to have the same k value. So therefore, the vertex in this one, or the center in this problem, is going to be zero, zero, zero. So now, so now, ladies and gentlemen, you have the center, you have b squared, and you have a squared. Is there anything else you guys need? So x minus zero is 
x, right? So I'm not going to write x minus 0 plus y minus 0. I'm just going to write x squared divided by a squared, which is 25, plus y squared, y minus 0 is y, so it's y squared, divided by b squared, which is 16, equals 1. And that's it. Okay. So the main important thing that you guys need to do for these problems is when you guys are given the amount of information, the best thing I can tell you is plot the information on a graph. See which formula you need to use, see which information you have, and then what information you need to figure out, and then you guys can just make the equation. That's okay? That's it. So, that's it. That's it. Done. Done, son. Um,